So today we have Mongrain, which is his in-game name on the iOS server. His YouTube name is Clash of Lords 2 Gameplays, Tips, and Tricks. And I'll go ahead and leave a link to his channel down in the description below. Right now we're just doing a quick interview. Uh, we're just going to ask him a couple questions, um, see how he likes to play the game. Um, you can go ahead and give everyone a holler. What's up everyone? Um, today I'm just with um, Mr. Daniel to make a little collaboration video. Alright, um, so first one, um, he is in a hurry, so we have to hurry this up a little bit. But first question we have is, how long have you actually been playing the Clash of Lords 2? Like, when do you start? Do you remember the heroes that were out when you first started the game? Um, I think I've been playing since about two years. But mm -hmm. at the beginning, I was really a noob. Um, you know, Everleaf was my favorite hero. <laughs> yeah, because I think I remember when I first started playing the game, I think, because I know it had to have been before Pangoli came out. Because when he came out, I know he was the most OP hero that could ever happen. He could just one shot or two shot a base. Yeah, I remember the Pangoli drop, and now with the alignment, it just restarted again. Yeah, especially if you have a brand on him, you can just use Pangoli plus Rene Divine, and you just go ahead and just kill off a base just like that. It's yeah. just crazy. Yeah, I think the new update though is going to be changing the way the brand works, but I don't think it's going to be changing it too much, because the way it'll work, I'll go ahead and talk about this later, possibly in a future video. But the way the nerf works is basically has the hero hall damage reduction take place. But that I don't think that will actually affect Pangoli because he knocks back. So he'll knock him off the, the hero's hall. So I don't think it will actually make a difference. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I think it would have to be they put something that only for Pangoli the brand would act differently because... Sometimes he just deals a million damage without even being a crit, which is just, it's not normal that this is in the game. Right, yeah, I think I've actually seen some screenshots where it's actually over a million damage with that single hit. Yeah, it, it's just way too strong, but I remember when one time for one shot, he was dealing about 300k damage, and now it's a million damage. It's a huge difference. Oh yeah, especially when Wonton gets its enlightenment as well. Berserker Ace will be more necessary than ever. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, the another question is, what do you want to see in an upcoming update? Like, what do you want to see most in the, like, as a new feature, new game mode, what have you? Um, I would definitely like a new game mode that would put all the, the platforms together, like the Taiwan version, iOS, Android, something similar to Guild Clash, maybe? Like a cross-platform Guild Clash? Yeah, that would be really cool to compare, especially um, top guilds. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. I think when they introduced the cross-platform PvP, or Coliseum, I think a lot of people were trying to get IGG to make Guild Clash cross-platform as well. But I don't know how good that would go. Because I know Android gets the update quite a bit quicker than uh, iOS does. Yeah, that's just one problem. But um, during that, usually it's a week because I have Android could face maybe some other version. I think there's a French version and Chinese version of all these other ones. Oh yeah, especially, I don't know if you've faced any of the people on the Russian Android server. But they're insane. They're always level 200, always max equipment, everything. Yeah, um, especially in Coliseum, as soon as I see them, I'm like, oh, not again. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky if I go ahead and kill the, like, the first three heroes that are in the PvP. Yeah. They always have, like, a, an, an Eliven Toxic Shaman, 200, level 200 Ralph, with all of them, with Tyrant's Bread, it's just pretty annoying. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy that way. Um, another question we have is, what is your favorite hero, and how do you actually use them? Or like, which mode do you actually use them on? Uh, my 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 favorite hero would be Ambrosia, 
because she performs very well in every single, well, basically every single game mode. She's, of course, really good at defending your base if you put a bow or a pirate burn. Um, she's really good at lordly, especially if you can also get a bread for her. She can one shot a couple of heroes. And she's also a healer. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, I personally like Abyss Demon. I know that's probably a cliche answer. Um, a lot of people prefer him. Um, outside of that though, I probably would have to say Ambrosia. With those high enlightenment levels, she can deal so much damage. And she can be... She can attack so fast that it's just insane. It'll, I've actually put my landslide with like all HP boosting aid on an Ambrosia and it just went like that. Um, I guess the question we have is what made you choose to play Clash of Lords 2? What actually brought you to this game? Um, at the beginning it was my brother's friend who was just playing the game um, just for fun and then my brother started playing the game and times to times I was just logging in the account looking at the heroes, the game modes, and uh, the game was really fun. So then I started playing the same account that my brother, and at uh, one point my brother didn't have the time to play and all that stuff, so I used the account and I started to, get, uh, to play more and more and more, and now I'm just playing the game every single day for more than an hour usually. Is that the account that you have now? Is that the same one? Yes, it is. One more question. Uh, what do you think about the update that's going to be coming for tomorrow? I don't know if you saw the video I'd posted, um, but it was basically about Dark Rider, Enlightenment, Arcane Caster, Enlightenment, and the Guild United feature. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, I think Dark Rider will be a kind of new Wolven theme, and the mechanic that spawns the shield every three seconds will be pretty interesting because if you only drop him on the base, he will kind of be basically invincible unless um, maybe the opener has five max and life heroes and they're he gets <laughs> crazy. So he will be a sort of new wolf being, I think. Possibly, because I know a survivability be. Uh, build would be Pangoli, Berserker, Enchantress, and if you just drop Dark Rider with a heart, that'd be probably really hard to kill. Yeah, for sure. And um, about Arcane Caster and Lyman, well, there's two big things. The first one is she will probably counter Pangoli, which is really amazing because Pangoli gets pretty annoying. Um, she will reflect, well, her Divine will reflect all the damage. And I think it's her insight to reduce the scale damage by a crazy percentage, so that will help out a lot. Yeah. And of course, in the uh, Yale Boss, people will score 200 mil plus if it's not even 300. Yeah, because I, I had made a comment about that, because already on Android, they get 170 million on the Ether Ogre. So once they get that, once they get Arcane Caster and Lighten, they're going to be scoring easily over 200 million, possibly even over 250. Yeah, for sure, because um, me and I only have her Divine One, and she reflects for a sh so short amount of time that it's pretty hard to reflect some damage, but her Divine Fire reflects 18 seconds, and with Green Event, that would be even 36 seconds, so that's just incre incredibly amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Um, the one last question before you do go, uh, did you have any questions for me? Did you have anything you wanted to ask me? Well, a kind of traditional question, um, how much did you spend on uh, this game? <laughs> that, of course, that's the question. Um, well, I'm actually not going to go around the answer. I have spent quite a bit. I think I've spent around 3000 to $3,500 on the game. But I spent when the game didn't have any sort of guarantees. Like, the best thing you could get was that 450 times where it was discounted for 350, but it was really 750 gems. That was the best thing in the game at the time, and you couldn't get any sort of guarantees, so you just had to keep rolling and rolling and rolling, and that was kind of frustrating at that time. Yeah, I remember that time too. Alright, well, I hope I didn't take too much of your time on Grin. 
Did you have anything you wanted to say as a final remark? Um, not real much. This uh, was really fun, and I hope we can do even more collaboration. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool beans, cool beans. All right. Um. Well, right now, uh, we're just finishing up. Like I mentioned before, I am gonna go ahead and put his channel link in the description as well, so you can go ahead and check him out. His name is Mongrain, and he is on the iOS server of Clash of Lords 2. But I just wanted to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.